guys and welcome to a slightly different kind of video. Um, this is going to be a fashion related video. Usually I do beauty and yeah mainly beauty. I've been like, I don't even know if I've done like a career related one because when I started YouTube I wanted it to be more of a fashion and like a bit about my like career and like, you know, if you want to do fashion PR, which is what I want to do, kind of like that to kind of help people. <laughs> I've not really done one of those videos yet though. And I've done predominantly beauty videos, like monthly favourites and hauls and makeup tutorials, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I really want to get into doing fashion and stuff because that is like my number one passion, you know, I prefer fashion to beauty, even though I love beauty. But um, yeah, so anyway, um, it's going to be a fashion video and I'm just going to get straight into it. It is the autumn winter trends um, and a thing I would say about trends is I also want to say I'm a little bit late on this video because um, yeah I would have done this earlier because autumn is really kind of over now. I'm like looking out the window and it does look quite autumn-y but it's like it's getting into winter. It's so cold. I know I live in the Highlands of Scotland so it's always cold but um yeah it's just really really cold now and I've been looking at like which winter jackets I'm going to be buying and coats and boots and all that kind of stuff and yeah I just thought I would do like an autumn winter trends but the thing I would say about trends is do not worry about trends I mean it's just really it's like nice to know and like some people really do follow them and don't like wear anything but what's on trend or whatever but like you know you don't have to and it's just really like Oh, that's going to be in the shops because like you know the shops follow the trends so it's just like good to know and um, what the trends are and if you're on trend and if you want to be on trend and if you want to like take some bits and you know a lot of the pieces you probably already have in your wardrobe because trends come round and round again but anyway I am babbling and I want to get started so number one trend this season if you buy anything that you want to be on trend or whatever make it something pink preferably a pink coat. They were like all over the catwalk last season. Well, like I say last season because spring summer 2014 season has already been shown, so it's technically last season, but it is this season. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yes, the um, designers that covered it, there was so many, but, and if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes on my laptop, so yeah. Um, basically the ones that I have to show you are Topshop Unique, Carvin, um, Roxanda Illinik and, and Simone Rocca. Um, they're amazing but so expensive. Like the Carvin one, which is um, the second one, it is oh, so beautiful. Like, oh, I'm just looking at it now and it's just so warm and fluffy and I just love the pastel pink shades that are being used and they are all over the high street, like literally everywhere and everyone's going on about you've got to have a pink coat. So anyway, the one um, the ones that I've got for you are first of all Topshop um, at £110 and this one is, it's not like, it's not really the ones that I've shown you in the designers, this one's like got shearling in it and it's like got a zip rather than buttons. It's quite a kind of biker style one, um, but it is long, it's not like a short jacket and it is gonna keep you really, really warm. Um, I love shearling and I love it in the pastel pink. I'm not actually a fan of shearling in black or really tan, but I love it in cream and pastel pink and all the pastel colors. I think shearling just looks so beautiful in pastel shades. Um, so this isn't like your classic pink coat that's all over the high street, but this is like a bit different. If you don't like the classic woolly coat style, this one is for you. Um, second up, we've got Zara. Now this is just like a classic boyfriendy androgyny long coat. Um, yeah, it's one hundred seventy nine ninety nine. So it's a bit pricey, but something like that. It's really really pale pink. So it's not as if it's like bright pink and you're, you know, going to get bored of it. You're not going to wear it a lot or whatever. It's pale pink. Um, it's really, really smart. It's long. It's going to keep you warm. So, I mean, it is an investment piece, but um, that is a bit pricey as well. Now, next up is so cheap. It's Primark or Primark, however you want to say it. Um, you know, I never shop in Primark and it is not like a 
you know, a snobby thing or like, I'm not shopping in Primark. It's just like basically because where I live, it is right down near the river, <laughs> which is not near the shopping centre and I just do not venture down that far. So I never go in, but I'm definitely going in to pick this jacket up and it is £35 and it is so nice. For trends, you know, you might want to buy cheap because you're, you don't think you're going to wear it a lot, you know, if it's going to be not in trend next season or whatever. So this is definitely one, if you just want to touch on the pink coat trend, you don't think you're going to be a huge lover of it or whatever, or if that's your budget, whatever, your reasoning, this is definitely one for you. Um, it's a nice cocoon shape, which I mean, a lot of people don't like, like my mum tells me that it just makes me look like a midget because I'm short already, but I like it. I like baggy things. I like that cocoon style shaped jacket and it is in a gorgeous pink shade. I'm just looking at it now and I literally, I so hope, I'm going into town shopping tomorrow and I hope to God they have it in stock. Um, I'm definitely picking that one up. Um, now the fourth one is ASOS it, and this is probably my favourite out of the four. Um, I actually think it's very, it's either out of stock or it's like very low in stock. So you might, if you really like this one, I'd go and check it out now because um, it is selling so fast. And it is just the perfect jacket coat, whatever you want to call it. It's the perfect style, it's long, it's uber fluffy, it's got the nice lapels, it slightly comes out at the bottom and it is the most gorgeous pink shade. I absolutely love that one. So that's probably my favourite. And it's probably this is probably my favourite trend out of all the ones that I'm going to be mentioning today. Um, I just love, I love buying coats at winter and the pink pastel shade is just like, oh. Because you just imagine when the snow is falling and yeah, it's just um, beautiful. Um, now number two, the trend number two is kind of relating to this one, it's big coats. So, you know, if you want to not get a pink coat but you want to still be on trend, get a big coat. Or you could be double on trend and get a big pink coat. <laughs> but anyway, either way, make your coat big because oversized is really really in the season like even like you know jumpers tops trousers anything oversized is just good just now and um, which I love I hate well, I mean I do uh, tight things are okay like this top is really really tight and I like it but like I don't like bodycon dresses and stuff like that um I, I'm a big fan of oversized styles so anyway the um the designers that were covering that were Celine, um, DKNY, Stella McCartney, and Max Mara. And when I say designers, I'm saying them in order of what, how they're coming up on the picture. <laughs> so yeah, I particularly love the Stella McCartney one and the Celine one. The Celine one because it's pastel shade, it's nice and cozy, and the Stella McCartney one because it's that nice fuchsia bright purple shade that you instantly recognise. Like. I instantly I recognise as that designer because like so many of the designers you know they go for the neutral shades because that is obviously what people are more going to wear but I just love when you see a really bright colour on a winter's day I think it's so beautiful um so the high street that we're that was doing big coats again like basically every high street shop is but here's like my pick of the best ones the ones that I like um and that is Zara um and this one when I saw it I was just like Oh my god, like even looking at it makes you feel warmer. Like the neck is so big, it's just gonna like, oh, not let any of the coldness in. Um, and it's in a gorgeous dark grey shade, and that is $89.99 for that one, which isn't too bad. Um, second up, you got Cause, and that one is a bit more pricey at £190. Um, I love the shade, it's a really dark brown, um, a very classic coat, very classic shape. Um, and yeah, it's a lovely coat. And Cos are, um, they're like, I was going to say related to Zara. They're owned by the same company. Um, so they have very similar style. It's very chic. It's very catwalk. Very on trend. Very beautiful. I just, I literally, Zara is just like my favourite shop on earth. Um, and Cos would also be, but it's a little, little bit more expensive. Um, so Zara, I would say, is better value. But I mean, cause I would say it's probably a slightly better quality. So you're, you're you know, you're, you're getting what you pay for at the end of the day. 
trim third up we've got H&M and I really like this one it's a little bit different it's shearling again it's quite similar to the pink coat by Topshop at the beginning it's shearling with the zip um, it's, it's very oversized um, and yeah I like it it's a bit different again if you don't want to go for the normal like coat classic shape then this is the one for you kind of biker style um, and that H&M one was um, $79.99 so not too bad again then we've got Urban Outfitters. Now I love this one and it is also hugely connected to another trend I'll be mentioning. Um, tartan and plaid is another huge trend this season and obviously it's tartan. Um, so that is, or tartan check, whatever you want to call it. And I just love the style of it, especially how the model is wearing it in the, the picture. It's, um, you know, it's very casual, but I could, I could see that being dressed up as well. It's very long, it doesn't have much shape to it. It's like what I love. <laughs> I love things that don't have much shape to it. It might sound odd, but I do. Um, it's a little bit pricey again at £145, but I love it and I want it. Um, now third up, the third trend is punk. Now punk is not... Well, I say it's not really me, but I do have like I, like I, like a lot of the time when I have to go somewhere that's smart and I want to be a bit edgy or whatever, <laughs> um, I will pull out my leather trousers. Um, so saying I yeah I do actually love and I love leather jackets and stuff like that. Maybe just not like all in one. I never do like a full punk look. I'll do like you know one piece or whatever. So you know it's up to yourself whatever you prefer. Um, now the designers that were doing this was Versace. Donatella Versace was calling it Vunk and like you know Versace punk. <laughs> also Saint Laurent, um, Hyder Ackerman and Chanel were doing the punk look last season. Well this season I keep saying that. Um, so but high street wise I kind of picked like a different you know piece, different clothing piece from different shops rather than you know going for all jackets or all whatever. Um, so I've got boots from the Selfridge. Now these are very classic biker boots. They have the buckle. They go up far. Um, they go up, you know, like just to below your knee or halfway up your calf. And um, they're 100% leather. I always, always say if you're gonna buy leather, I mean, if it's just like on the cuff of a, on the like you know your sleeve of a top, or whatever. Like yeah, it's fine. Make it pleather or whatever they call it, fake leather. And um, but if you're gonna buy a coat, a jacket, or like boots, especially shoes, just make sure you get leather because they will last you so much longer, so much longer. And a lot of the time they aren't that much more expensive. I just bought um, a pair of Chelsea boots from ASOS, leather, £40. Like that is so good. Um, but they're going to last me so much longer if I bought like ones for 20 quid and they weren't real leather. Do you know what I mean? It is really worth investing in leather, especially in shoes. Ramble over. So they are £120, so that is quite expensive. But they would last you years, they honestly would, um, if you look after them. <laughs> so the, um, secondly, you've got a, um, a, a pair of leggings from French Connection. Now, these are £150, so you're thinking, oh my god, they're so expensive. But it's like what I said about my leather trousers from Topshop. I wear them all the time. Um, like, you know, when I'm, I'm thinking, you know, if I'm going out for like dinner, I want to be smart going out on a night out, I want, you know, I don't want to wear a dress. Leather trousers are just such a saviour. They're so, like, sexy and, you know, but not without showing skin. It, they're just so, I really, really love them. They're class, I think they're classy. You know, I, I know you, the first thing you think when you think of punk isn't classy, but I, I do think leather trousers are classy because they're, they are very, I keep saying sexy and I really hate that word, but <laughs> they are without showing skin. So yeah, um, I'd say they're worth an investment. And third up, we've got All Saints. Now, don't hate me, this is really expensive again. £228 for the skirt, but I had to include it because like, I don't know what people's budgets are. So if you can afford this, I would buy it. If I could afford it, I would buy it. Um, it is a pencil skirt with a zip up the front. So I think this is like, I think this is still, this still be, could be classy because it's not a short skirt, but you're able to show some leg with the zip. And it's very kind of, that's what makes it kind of, you know, that punk edge, the zip. It's not like a normal um, pencil skirt, not a normal leather pencil skirt. It's got the zip, which just adds that kind of punk edge. And um, if you've got the money, 
buy this skirt. Um, now the fourth thing is from Forever 21, it's a shirt um, and that is 27.75, strange number but I think it's because they're like American. Um, so yeah, and I just really like this shirt. I like the dark grey, um, I like that it's buttoned all the way up um, and yeah, I just like the kind of washed out grey denim. I'm not a fan of bluey washed out denim um, but I really like grey washed out denim and it's very kind of punk orientated. You know, that with your leather trousers and you will definitely be a punk. <laughs> so yeah, that's the punk trend. Um, fourth trend is tartan plaid. Um, now, Mulberry, Moschino, Emily Wickstead and Saint Laurent um, all did this and that's the ones in the picture but Givenchy and Vivian Westwood also did it and so did a whole other load of designers. Um, but those are the ones in the pictures that I showed you and I really really like the tartan and plaid um, kind of trend. It's uh, Being Scottish I actually hate most things Scottish. I hate bagpipes. I used to hate, I, said, I used to say I hated tartan but I mean I'm okay with that now. Um, I hate haggis, I hate the weather. But I, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like negative to Scotland because people say, oh my god, you hate Scotland. I don't hate Scotland, I just hate a lot of the culture. But, you know, I I, I like our country. Um, I'm not a hater of Scotland, but, um, God. Um, yeah, I just, I am just such a warm um, person, as in, like, I need warm weather. So I'm just not meant to live in this climate. That is that is why that I don't feel overly lovingly towards this country. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> we're getting off topic. Um, first up, I've got trousers from River Island um, for £35. They have gorgeous navy um, tartan trousers in River Island also, which navy is another one of the big trends. So I would have put them up, but they're out of stock. So I was like, what's the point? Um, so but they might come back in stock, so I would have a look out for them. But these red ones are classic red tartan trousers, £35, can't go wrong. Um, Zara coat, um, at £69.99. I love that this is a really short, and it, look how woolly and cosy it looks. It's so beautiful. Um, I like the length. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's kind of like a Czech tartan. That is my kind of tartan. Like the ones, the trousers before with the River Island trousers, that's more classic tartan. I'm definitely more of a fan of the less. Less is more when it comes to tartan with me. <laughs> um, then I've got an ASOS backpack. So if you don't want to be wearing like in your clothes, you can wear it in your accessories. Um, £28 for the backpack. And again, it's that navy and green tartan, which is my favourite kind of tartan. Um, then you've got an ASOS dress again from ASOS um, and this is an absolute bargain. It's the perfect like kind of dress for me because I really like the ones that go below your knee and it's kind of tight. Um, and £15, so cheap. When I saw it I was like oh my god I have to include that. So yeah, such a bargain. Now the fifth trend is the Drindle skirt. It's a bit of an odd one. It's not one you know that everyone's going to rush out and buy but I actually really like this. And one thing I'll say is, if you see someone in a Drindle skirt, I, well, if, if I see someone in a Drindle skirt, sorry, I instantly think, oh my god, she has got style and she knows her fashion. Because it's like, it's a kind of a skirt that's misunderstood, I feel. I think like a lot of people think when they look at it, you know, it's a, a granny skirt or a, you know, just an unflattering older, per older person's skirt. But I think that's what's so great about it, older people can wear this. And so can the young. I think it looks so classy. As you will see from um, the designers that I chose, I chose Topshop Unique, E Down Chow, Prada, and Hermes. And if you look at the one, especially from Topshop Unique, that's the the first one in the photo. Um, like Cara Delvin's wearing it. No, she's not. That's not Cara Delvin. <laughs> she wore another one of the ones, but I didn't choose that one. I chose this one because this is my favourite. I love the colour and I love that it's PVC and that obviously that model is very young and like she looks great in it. I absolutely love it. Um, so yes, but the high street versions, I also chose Topshop Unique again. Um, it's a different one to the one in the, the, the one on the catwalk, but this one was also on the catwalk. This one was actually worn by um, Jordan Dunn. Um, and it is black with a kind of side panel of PVC. 
um, and yeah, I just love it. It's so it's like a plain black skirt, but it's got the the bit of an edge with the the, the side pe I'm like side a bit of PVC. Um, so I really like that one. Um, it's 150, so pricey, but um, whatever your budget is. Um, second up, we've got whistles, and this is just a classic leather style jindal skirt. So this one, if you bought this one, it would do you years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years because. It's never really gonna go out of fashion a black leather skirt, um, and it's you know it's not a slutty black leather skirt. It's a nice length. It's you know the Drindle skirt could never be slutty, <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that one. It's ninety five pounds, so quite pricey, but um, you know it's leather. And um, then we've got one from Warehouse. I love this color, the burgundy color. It's one of my favorite colors to wear during um, winter. And £32, it's a nice cotton one, so it's gonna, you know, flow more easily if you think the leather one's just too heavy, because the leather one's gonna keep it shaped more. So if you think that's just too much of a dwindle skirt look, um, you wanna, you know, touch upon it, but you don't wanna go extreme. Um, me personally, I would go for the leather one because I really like the look, but if you're not such a fan of the look, then you wanna go in for cotton and it's gonna um, fall much more into your knees. It's not gonna be such a dramatic shape. So yeah, this one will be perfect for you. £32 as well, so it's cheap. Um, and yeah, I just love the colour. It's perfect for winter. Then um, fourth one and final one from River Island, £35. So similar price to the warehouse one. And as I said before, navy is totally in just now. So if you want to touch upon the navy trend, then get this one. Um, again, it's like the warehouse one. It's um, cotton fabric, so it's just going to fall. It's not going to be... Whew. <laughs> And yeah, I really like that one. It's also got a belt, um, so it's going to emphasise your waist. All these Drindle skirts, though, are going to emphasise your waist because it's coming out. Um, so yeah, they're very flattering, and a nice long skirt is going to be warm for winter. Um, you don't want to be wearing a mini one out in the cold. No. Um, so that is the five trends. Um, just to recap over them. Um, so number one was a pink coat. Or anything pink. I mean, the pink general trend, if it was, you know, pink trousers, as long as it's like that, I would go for the soft pink. I wouldn't be going for fuchsia. It's pastel-y soft pink. Um, but I just think the coats are especially gorgeous in this shade. Um, number two was um, big coats or oversized pieces. Um, again, especially the coats, though. Um, so if you're thinking of getting your, your winter coat just now, I would either make it pink or oversized along those lines, if you want to be on trend, you know. <laughs> um, number three was punk. Uh, punk is always in, I mean, I mean, it's not always in, but it's always, you always get a kind of feel for it on the catwalk, but it was pretty crazy this season on the catwalk, so um, yeah, I, I would definitely pick up something kind of punkish. You could even just be a necklace, anything. Um, number four was tartan played, or tartan and played, sorry. Um, plaid is just more of a kind of checky version of tartan um, and yeah so again that's perfect for winter because tartan always reminds you of something warm um, and if you're Scottish you probably have something in your wardrobe already tartan. Um, and number four, no, sorry number five was the drindle skirt which I just mentioned there and again oh my gosh just got cut off battery ran out but I am back. <laughs> Um, basically, I was just saying that the um, the fifth trend was Drindle skirt, and um, it may not be the most popular one, but it may turn out that it's the one you like the most. So you never know. I think you should give it a go. I definitely will be. Um, so yes. So that is everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was kind of like my first fashion video, so. Um, yeah, like it wasn't perfect. <laughs> um, and in no way am I making out that I am like some kind of fashion guru. Um, I did not make these trends, the designers did. I am just relaying them. Um, and I hope you found it helpful. I hope there was maybe like some pieces that you thought, oh my God, I really want that. I really want to get that. Um, and yeah, and just remember, don't take trends too seriously. It's just a bit of fun. Um, and yes, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, Glad Rags and Name Tags. Um, I'll probably be doing a post on this as well, so um, if you didn't catch some of the photos or all of the information, because I felt like I was speaking so fast throughout that video, um, yeah, I will be putting it all into a post on my blog, so when I get that up um, and ready, I will put the link for that post in the description box below. Um, and I will also mention the, the trends below if you've forgotten them or whatever. Um, I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> um, so yes, all of that information will be below and yeah that I think that is it that is it for my first fashion video um hopefully I'll be doing like more kind of fashion related videos let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a specific video um whether it's like trend related or yeah just like anything any fashion related video if it's to do like if it, if it was to do with a specific designer or a specific shop I could be doing like a a video around that so if you have any ideas please let me know and I'm gonna wrap this video up because I feel like I've been rambling for forever now uh, and have a lovely day with whatever you're doing and enjoy autumn winter fashion and yeah enjoy the trends bye